In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft's new AB730 AI Business Professional certification. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So Microsoft have released four new certifications starting AB, and the AB730 is the AI Business Professional. So it is for you if you want to enable and manage artificial intelligence capabilities in Microsoft 365 by configuring, securing, and governing co-pilot and agents while applying identity security and compliance principles. So if I scroll down, you can see that this is for you if you've got experience using generative AI productivity tools, including Microsoft 365 Copilot, Researcher, and Analyst, which are two of the agents within Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this is for you if you are a business professional who wants to apply AI tools to real business challenges. So it could be marketing, operations, project management, human resources, customer services, or more. So you will need to have a basic understanding of Microsoft 365 and be familiar with Outlook, Word, Teams, PowerPoint, and Excel. However, a high degree of knowledge of all of these applications is not actually needed. It basically revolves around Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this could be for you if you use generative AI tools, such as Microsoft Copilot, to draft emails, summarize documents, create presentations, or generate creative content like images or text. And if you don't know how to do that and want to do that, then preparing for this exam is also great for you. Now, what do you need to know? Well, let's click on the AB730 study guide. And you can see that we have got three basic skills. Understand Gen AI or Generative AI Fundamentals. Manage prompts and conversations by using AI. And draft and analyze business content by using AI. So within the first of these skills, it is broken down into understand Gen AI capabilities across various Microsoft 365 experiences. So how Copilot works, why the context is important, what's the difference between a chat and an agent. But there's also this, understand the differences in features and capabilities of the Copilot experience in various Microsoft 365 apps. So it's just a single bullet point, but that basically means what can Copilot do for you in Word, in Excel, in PowerPoint, in Outlook, and in Teams. So there's a lot of knowledge that you need to have under this one bullet point. Also in this section is identify responsible AI and data protection practices. For example, what are fabrications, prompt injection, and over-reliance, and how can you overcome it? What can you do to protect sensitive data, and more? Under Manage Prompts and Conversations by using AI, you need to know how to create and manage prompts, such as saving, scheduling, and sharing. Know how to write an effective prompt, so not just please do this, but maybe add why you want it done, how you want it to be done, and with what. You'll also need to know how to manage conversations in Copilot, so delete and rename chats, add conversations to notebooks, and find previous conversations, and how to create and manage Microsoft 365 Copilot agents. So an agent, when created using Copilot Studio Lite, is a more sophisticated version of a chat conversation. It will be focused on specific tasks and might ask you for more information about that, for example. So know when to use the agent store as opposed to creating a new agent, and then how you can create an agent by using a template, or alternatively, configure an agent that has knowledge, instructions, capabilities, and suggested prompts, and also share that agent with team members. And then finally, we've got draft and analyze business content by using AI. So draft business documents and communications, so either from the very beginning or from existing documents, and how to move data and insights between Microsoft 365 apps. For example, you've got some emails, how do you create a Word document based on them? And then finally, describe how to use Copilot for meetings, so we're talking Microsoft Teams, how to use Copilot pages for collaboration, and how memory and instructions 
are important for Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. So this is the AB730 AI Business Professional. So it is for you if you want to use or already use Gen AI tools, for example, the researcher and analyst agents, to enhance your daily work, boost productivity, guide decisions, and drive business outcomes. There's no code writing required. There's no developing AI applications. This exam largely just uses Microsoft 365 Copilot, either in apps or on the web. So if you're comfortable with AI fundamentals, prompt creation, applying AI to real-world tasks, and if you produce professional content and want to summarise meetings and collaborate across teams using Microsoft 365 apps, then you should investigate the AB730 AI Business Professional Certification. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and are now confident in what the AB730 is all about, and then you can decide whether it is right for you. Now, as I said, there are other AB certifications, such as the AB900 certification, which looks at Copilot, and more, it also looks at Entra and Purview. For more information, please click on the video on the end screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not give it a like, and then please subscribe and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos, including an upcoming video I've got about the AB731 certification. Are you interested in the AB730? If so, why not let me know in the comments to this video. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.